we got Will at the wheel. Why, why do I feel so terrified? <laughs> <laughs> it is terrifying, dude. At least we both feel the same way. Okay, let's see. So you want to push, you want that ball to pretty much here? be down here. Yeah, there you go. Now start to get on it. You want that prop, there you go, yep. Start rolling. going out on the boat for one last trip before we pull this thing out of the water for its last time floating in Thailand and get it into a container to get it back to the States. Hopefully it starts and didn't kill the battery. Hi Steve. Let the fuel pump go for a second. <laughs> Dude, it starts right up. <laughs> it's been sitting for a day. That's great. Get, her, uh, get some heat in the motor. We're going to go pick up our buddy Mikey at his, at his uh, boat house right now. He's a uh, military helicopter pilot retired and uh, he's just living in Thailand full time now. Great guy. So met a lot of great the people. The siphon trick to get her topped off for our last trip this morning. Yep. You see it's got a little fuel level. Right there. I don't know how you think I can pull this up. <laughs> <laughs> This handle here, this is a rudder so that when you're cruising, you can keep your arm on here and kind of steer back and forth. Uh, and that way you can kind of just keep this drive handle straight. This is forward, neutral, and reverse. It does have a small transmission out of like a small uh, Japanese key truck in there. Uh, we have the ECU and some sensors that are in this box that you sit on. Obviously a battery. We got the fuel tank over there, which has two fuel pumps and a fuel pressure regulator mounted on it. We have a water fuel separator underneath there. And then, oh, this thing, this is a, you know, like a purge for the water. Once you launch the boat and it's has, it doesn't have any water in it. You can use this, this ball here to kind of pump some water through the engine and to get that water going. And then there's also a 12 volt pump right there. This is compounded turbos. This is, so this turbo feeds into the next turbo. And then it goes to an air water intercooler there before going into the intake. And then obviously, you know, everything's been jazzed up with painted valve covers and aluminum parts and pieces. They mounted the key right here so we can key it on. view of the tank, the engine pivots on this one point back here, side to side, and then up and down here. And then they can actually slide it back and forth with the, on the engine mount to balance this thing properly. It is way out of balance if the drive shaft is off of here and the drive shaft is dismounted with these three through bolts here that clamp onto it. So there's actually an inner drive shaft in here. Looks like there's some kind of grease dirt right here. Uh, this, I believe sometimes guys will have a, you know, a control arm type deal that'll go up. So I will say that 
when you're holding on to that drive handle up front and on the throttle, it moves a lot. And so kind of what I'm thinking to improve that is to build some kind of system back here that they have on motorcycles. On a motorcycle, if you're doing a wheel and you come down, you can get what's called tank slap. And these guys put these series of gas shocks and springs. I got to look at the engineering behind it. You know, they pulled off this electronic throttle off of the truck. This goes to the throttle cable. So when you step on the gas here, that transfers, you know, over to the ECU and everything like that. Looks like we got a bolt that's backed out of somewhere. Classic. Happens to everybody. But yeah, man, she is freaking bad to the bone. We got a titanium exhaust, titanium uh, exhaust off of the wastegate. I mean, the mechanics of it are pretty much identical to what you would see on, you know, really any other car or turbo, diesel, truck, whatever. The EPA has very strict standards on what can and cannot come into the United States as far as engines go, and rightfully so. They have their rules for a reason, but I'll tell you right now, a heavy modified diesel engine is definitely not going to make it across the border. So we have to figure out what we're going to do. And so I want to hear your input in the comments. I understand that people have taken these engines apart piece by piece and shipped them completely separate, but I would like to do this the right way and get the boat, you know, in legally. So uh, to build off of that, we know we can get the boat back. It's it's approximately 30 feet long. We know we're gonna need the big boy 40 foot container. We're gonna have to build some rigging to keep it, you know, nice and stable because it is a hand built wooden teak boat. And, you know, it's absolutely beautiful. And I know it's probably gonna come back with a little bit of damage and, you know, that's okay, stuff happens and we'll deal with it and we'll move on and it'll be a great part of the story. But as far as the engine goes, uh, I can get a 4JJ1 in Florida. I've, they're, they're on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna take detailed pictures and you know, videos to make sure everything's gonna match up perfectly when we get back. But we are gonna have a lot of work to do once the boat gets home. We're gonna have to source an engine. We're gonna have to build that engine you know, and put all these parts and pieces back on it and put it together before we can rip this thing. And I've got some amazing plans. I cannot wait to rip this thing on the intercoastal, take it to sandbars, John boat races, river boat days. I mean, all kinds of really cool stuff planned with this boat. And, uh, you know, I think the Thai people are super excited as well because, you know, this brings a lot of awareness to their culture in the racing industry as well. I've had a lot of people tell me I should reach out to Chad B at CB Media, and we did talk. We talked right when I started this project, and to be honest with you, and he'll admit it too, he's not a boat guy. He got burned on his boat, and I fully understand he's done amazing stuff for the Thai industry and the racing world, and he loves the cars and the mopeds and the bikes, and you know, he's just not a boat guy, and he'll fully admit it to you, but I am, and so we're gonna figure out how to get this rig home. It's, uh, it's gonna be a project, and it's been our biggest obstacle so far, but I at least wanted to come to Thailand to show y'all what this is about and how the industry is so neat. And, you know, it's, it's a really fun project. Uh, you know, I want to talk about Bird, Bird BBC. He is a hole builder. He uh, is really excited about this project because apparently these hot rod long tail boats used to be a really big thing years ago. And they kind of went away for a while and now they're making a big comeback. So he's super excited. So I want to shout out to Bird and you know, the engine builders, they've done an incredible job of getting it perfect for me and testing and then coming out to the lake when, you know, to take delivery of it and teach me how to drive it because I'm really glad we did that. Really glad. It was uh, a big learning experience. I mean, just planing out on the boat and man, this thing's just absolutely manhandling you and you got to figure out like where you want the prop. Do you want the prop underwater? Do you want it chopping on the surface? And you have to have it chopping on the surface. If you have that prop underwater and your wide open throttle, it's bogging the engine down. Even though this thing's making like 600 horsepower, it's, uh, you know, you gotta have that chop propping at the surface, which causes that big rooster tail. This is this has been probably one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. I, I set out on a goal and a mission and I freaking made it happen and I'm so excited. But I'm a little sad that I have to leave it back here and then hopefully, everything goes as planned and we get it home over, you know, the course of the next couple of months. I would imagine it's going to take 30, 60, 90 plus days to get this thing home and then start cranking on getting fittings and, you know, this stuff anodized and parts and pieces and the turbos and all that kind of stuff. So 
if you specifically think that you could be a resource to help make any of this happen as far as getting it back to the States, getting it built for JJ, getting it back together, anodizing parts, please reach out to me. I don't want to hear in the comments, oh, I've got a friend or you should contact this guy or that guy. If you're a direct source, hit me up because I would love to have you a part of this build and we can shoot some content together. My goal when I get back to the States with this boat is to do a lot of really fun stuff. I want to rip this thing in the intercoastal. I want to take it to sandbar parties, John boat races. I want to rip it on the river. I want to race the jet boats. We, we have all kinds of videos planned. And so if you want to be a part of that, if you're a YouTube channel or you're a growing channel, hit me up. That's why I have this thing is so that we can all have fun with it together. I'm not going to hoard this thing to myself. I want to teach people how to drive it. I want to, I want to share what I've learned with the world and make this really, really fun for people because it's a really neat niche. It really is. And it's scary. This thing is an absolute animal. I mean, it's, it's difficult for me to drive and I've driven a lot of things and I can fly helicopters and airplanes and, you know, race cars and whatever, but you know, driving a Thailand river boat, I was exhausted after ripping this thing for a couple hours. You know, it's, it's, it's really neat. I think there's a lot of content. A lot of people could build off of this thing. So, you know, like I said, if, if you think you can help, or you want to be a part of this, hit me up. If you want to get one of these boats, I highly recommend we wait until I get mine back to the States and get the systems and the procedures and the legality of everything figured out first. And then I will help you do that and get you my contacts to make it happen. I think it'd be really cool if we started to bring a couple of these back and had a community of us that would get together and rip them around and make great content. So if you want to be a part of that too, let me know. Let's, let's make it happen. So today we're going to get this boat out of the water. We're going to kind of document everything about it, you know, every nook and cranny so that we can get it back together when it gets home. Will and I are going to sit down and I want him to illustrate to y'all what he's got going on. He's an entrepreneur. He's, he spent time in America. His dad is from America and his mom is from Thailand and he is a great resource here. He's fluent in Thai and English, you know, but he's also building this incredible marina at this prestigious lake in Thailand. It's absolutely beautiful. I mean, the lake is glass right now. There's maybe 10 different properties that actually have resorts or you know, maybe a small marina on the lake, but you really don't see any boats out here, but it's starting to become a really big deal as the city continues to push out towards this way. A lot of people are starting to discover how great and luxurious leisure boating is. And so he is building this massive property with boat storage and four by four storage, motorcycle storage, and he's paving the roads and he's building hangars to store things in and maintain your dock or your boathouse to, you know, how he would want his stuff taken care of, which I got to say is absolutely next level. So I'm excited, you know, for him to share what he's got going on with y'all in this video as well. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you've been wrenching on your car, need a 10 millimeter wrench, plowing a bag of flaming hot Cheetos and drinking a Dr. Pepper and realize, Dang it, I really need to brush my teeth. Well, now's your chance. I'm talking Dr. Parker 10 millimeter tool brush, a toothbrush on one end, a 10 millimeter wrench on the other. This sucker, CNC billet aluminum, baby. Lifetime warranty. Get them now at CletusMcFarlane.com. In this video as well.